splash modals, sometimes known as splash pages or pop-ups, allow you to dedicate valuable home page real estate to conveying specific information to your end users. They can include images or videos as well as text, and they can be linked to additional resources, housing engagement elements. Some of the use cases for splash pages involve urgent responses to disaster situations, sharing messages from leadership, bringing attention to target initiatives, and or highlighting important program information. When activated, the splash modal occupies a prominent place on the home page. Its size will be determined by the use of imagery and the length of messaging. The Learn More link is the link to an engagement element with additional information, and the page can be closed to access the rest of the site. The Splash Modal Manager is where splash modals are created and scheduled for activation. It is a permission setting available under the Client Admin Portal. Access to the Splash Modal Manager is located under the icon in the upper right-hand side, CSR Connect Admin. When it loads, go to the left-hand side, click Community Settings, and then Splash Modal Manager. The functionality includes a search by name. Just type in the name and click the spyglass icon. You can also create a new Splash Modal from this page. You'll see a list of all existent modals, the start date, their end date, their current status, and who last edited them, as well as the last edited date. On the far right is an additional menu of items such as archive. Archive is great if you don't want to see it on this page necessarily, but you don't want to delete it. This page contains a list of the elements needed to create a splash modal. You can take a screenshot of it to have them gathered before you start creation, or you can search the Help Center for splash modals if you prefer written instructions. To create a new splash modal, you'll click the button with that very name on it. I'm going to be using resources found under the disaster response in our community page. First, you'll give it a name. And then you have the option to select an image. Show main logo will select from community branding, or you can add an image, an individual image, 600 by 300 pixels, just drag and drop, or show a YouTube video by adding the link to the video. For ease of use, I'll just use show main logo. The body text can be up to 1000 characters and can include hyperlinks. This text is from our resources and it can be customized as needed. The next option to select is don't show after first login. This would be if you only need the information shared once. Associate with engagement element allows a link to an engagement element which can further activity or contain additional information. It's important on the active date range that the dates do not overlap. Because this one is not needed immediately, I'm going to select a date well into the future and on a day that people aren't likely to see it if it accidentally does go live. Now we can see I've got an error message because my dates aren't complete. I'm going to select an end date and I still haven't resolved my error message, so I'll select another time. And then we still need to do a time zone. This will impact both the start and in time for this splash modal. Once I've got all my elements set up, then I can click Save Splash. And now it lives on the Splash Modal Manager. It shows as scheduled. And should I need to make any additional edits to it, just click the hamburger icon on the right and edits to go back in and change whatever's needed.